Space is hard. Steve Carell enters Netflix's orbit with Space Force, a new workplace comedy from the star and creator of The Office, but should you stream it or skip it? The president is creating a new branch, Space Force. <laughs> like so many things wrong with this world, it all started with a tweet. Basically after the current administration announced the IRL Space Force, Netflix snatched up this show that comes from Carell and the Office creator Greg Daniels about a fake Space Force. Cool, well, at least they got basically every working comedic actor in this. We're talking Steve Carell. What? John Malkovich. Okay. Ben Schwartz. No others. Lisa Kudrow. I mean, with a cast like that, this show should be ready for liftoff, right? Wrong! <laughs> I am sorry, but where are the jokes? I missed them. I missed all of them. If we don't get this right, it'll be the most cataclysmic failure in the short history of Space Force. The reason that Space Force went viral in the first place was because it was obviously a ridiculous idea, and the show takes it so seriously that it kind of misses what was funny about Space Force to begin with. It's really a bummer. How many times do I need to apologize? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything else to say as if it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Brett, you tell me, what do you think? Should we stream it or skip it? I think skip it, which is such a shame because we love literally every single person involved in this show, which is why it is such a shame that there aren't a lot of laughs or really any point to it. Hannah Gadsby is back with a new stand-up special on Netflix, but should you stream it or skip it? The Australian comedian became an overnight sensation in the United States thanks to her 2018 special Nanette, and she's just as surprised by that as you are. If you're here because of Nanette, why? Douglas sees Gatsby tackle Nanette, her haters, the Ninja Turtles, Renaissance paintings, weird dog park conversations, all in a special that is named after her dog, kind of. So I will preface this by saying that I was in the minority, but a little bit not so charmed by Nana, especially the way the rest of the world was. It just wasn't really my cup of tea. I hate tea, but the tea is, I love Hannah Gatsby. <laughs> this is more kind of a straightforward stand-up e show or Hannah Gatsby's version of a stand-up show. Had I known just how wildly popular trauma was going to be in the context of comedy, I might have budgeted my a bit better. <laughs> Whereas Nanette, which Gatsby points out at the beginning of Douglas, was kind of a different beast entirely. And now here we are! <laughs> I don't know, I just sort of kept waiting to do some like ROTFLs and LMAOs and I just didn't really get that from this. So because I love Nanette, I also think you should definitely stream Douglas if you like Nanette. Leah, what's your hot take? I'm gonna have to give it a skip it. I mean, if Nanette wasn't really your jam, and if you're really just looking for more of a straight up, silly stand-up special, there are plenty of other ones of those available on Netflix. So skip it. At the end of the day, this was just a game. Do you love Who Wants to Be a Millionaire but wish it had more drama? They're cheats. Well then get ready because here comes quiz on AMC. But should you stream it or skip it? AMC's new three-part drama follows a married couple and their accomplice <coughs> who were accused of cheating to win the million pound prize on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. One million pounds! Michael Sheen, Succession's Matthew McFadden, and Fleabag's Sean Clifford all star in the series from director Stephen Frears. Everyone needs to know, Regis Philbin is not involved. That's the audacity of it. But we do get Michael Sheen, Charles Ingram, as the host of the UK version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Do you want to talk about his wig? I know you do. I'm really bad at spotting wiggy wigs. I don't even know if Michael Sheen was wearing a wig in Good Omens, but this wig is the wiggiest wig, and it's so wiggy that I kind of love it. I love this cast too. I love Sean Clifford from Fleabag. I love Ashling B, she's here. Mark Bonner from Catastrophe. This is just an all-star cast of mostly funny people, but doing an amazing job in a drama. Also stressing how badly some people wanted to win this freaking game. Oh yeah. It isn't cheating. It isn't cheating. So Leo, what is the final verdict? Should we stream it or skip it? Definitely stream it. You just won. This one kind of feels like the new Sunday night thing to look forward to after the last dance is over. People love a good pub quiz.